What's up, guys? How's it going? Where are we going? How to draw an angry skull? More of an anger. So I'm going to start with this shape for the eyes. I'm already thinking about the anger portion of it because the uh, eyes furrow down. It's going to be a little bit more caricatured than normal because I, I, it is going to be angry. Triangle for the nas nasal cavity. Triangles for the eye sockets this time. I mean, obviously bone does not malleable like that, so you're kind of combining it with human uh, human muscles, you know what I mean? You are kind of thinking about it like that. You have to, really. Putting down the teeth here. There's not a lot of gritting because you're, you're not really sure. You know, you can, again, you're combining muscle and bone kind of in one thought process so it's going to be a little hard to make it look like Grr. turn my computer on there so this is my broad spectrum and this is actually what I'm going to start drawing into I'm drawing in a tiny tiny freaking uh, pencil here it's a Prismacolor pencil I gotta buy more if uh, you want to donate any pencils Prismacolor black pencils I would love that oh my god you know, I'm not asking for a handout. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I'm just saying, if anyone's donated, that'd be great, because I, I'm totally out of them. But um, like I said, not asking for a handout. Sorry, guys. All right. Anyways, let's start. Continue. Let me go into the muscles of the head here first. Uh, I want. I always like nailing down the eye section. The reason for that is because if I feel like I can nail that area down, I feel pretty confident for the rest of the drawing. And I'm like, okay, cool. I at least have one area that looks nice. Muscle suppressed down. Give me a bunch over here, and I make it I exaggerate it more than it would be even in real life. How many folds and creases there would be. It's gonna be kind of it's gonna pinch toward the inside. Fill in this black space. Coming around here, finding or adding little folds here where I know that they got to be directional, you know what I mean? They're folding around the eye. So I could add as many folds as I want as long as they're directional and they're not totally overdoing it. A nasal cavity. I am kind of exaggerating the shape of that. It's a little more triangular than it already is, although it is pretty triangular anyway. Going down, drawing more with the side of the pencil here. That's going to cause small little striations around the nasal cavity. So okay, now I'm going to continue in this. I'm, I'm going to try to clean it up. I went really down with the side of my pencil, see, using that. So what I want to do is I want to get back in there, clean shit, sorry, I'm saying bad words, clean stuff up, you know what I mean? I want to clean stuff up with my eraser, like that right there. I want to like smooth shapes out, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to do it on a time lapse, and we're going to get back to it. We'll talk about it. All right, later.
Okay, so you can actually, what you can do, uh, putting a paper over here so I don't smudge the drawing as I'm, you know, putting my hand down. Uh, you can kind of keep going on this forever, really. You know what I mean? Just keep cleaning, 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 cleaning. Um, this is good enough for demonstration purposes. Let me focus a little bit. All right. Uh, this is good enough for demonstration purposes, so I'm just going to leave it at, at this. See, I'm getting, getting an unevenness over here of tone. But uh, I think it works out pretty well. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.